Hello everybody! This video will show you how to enable, disable and set up sleep in Windows and what to do if the computer refuses to wake from sleep or if sleep doesn't work. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. In sleep mode, the computer doesn't shut down. Sleep is characterized by less power consumption than in an active mode. Some components are powered off such as the hard disk, while others switch to power saving mode. All applications which are running are kept in the system memory. They are working but in a waiting mode. You can continue work from sleep mode very quickly. Your computer will be ready for work again in a matter of seconds. You can set up or disable sleep in Windows 10 both in the new settings interface and in the traditional control panel. To do it, go to the menu settings System. Power and Sleep. This is where you can set the time when the computer screen should be powered off if the computer is not in use. You can also set the time when the computer goes to sleep mode when you are not using it. You can even disable this function by selecting Never instead of a time period. You can also modify sleep settings from the control panel, which is found in all versions of Windows. To do it, go to Control Panel. And in one of the previous videos, I have already shown you how to open control panel. You will find the link in the description. Set the view options to large or small icons. Select Power options. Click on Change when the computer sleeps link on the left side. This is where you can set the time when the computer goes to sleep mode when you are not using it. You can even disable this function by selecting Never instead of a time period. By selecting Change Advanced Power Settings, you can fine-tune power management and sleep mode options. They include the time when hard disk is turned off when idle, options for hibernation or hybrid sleep. Hibernation mode was developed especially for laptops, where battery life and quick returning to work are very important. When hibernation mode is on, all running applications from the system memory are saved to a separate file in the computer's hard disk file, sys, and the computer shuts down. You can get back to work slower than after a sleep mode, but quicker than after usual Windows boot. All running applications and open windows will be restored. A hybrid sleep will be more useful for desktop systems and areas with unreliable power supply network. It combines the advantages of sleep mode and hibernation. Running applications are saved both to system memory and the hard disk. The computer needs less energy. The computer will be able to wake up in the proper condition even if there was a power failure. As a rule, this option is enabled for desktop computers. Allow wake timers. Enabling this function allows waking the computer from sleep for other applications, antiviruses, network activity and even updates if Windows is set up to update at a certain time. Power buttons and lid. This is where you decide what the computer does when you press the power button or close the laptop's lid, and so on. I will not go into detail of all additional settings, just because it is not necessary to change them too much. It can even make things worse. Anyway, if there are problems with sleep mode options, you can always go back to default settings by clicking a corresponding button. If you ever worked with sleep mode, you know that the computer can be woken up by clicking a mouse button or pressing any button on the keyboard. If you need to disable or enable this function, this is what you should do. Go to Device Manager. There are many ways, but this one is good for all cases. Open this PC. Select System Properties. Device Manager Select Mice and other pointing devices Right-click on HID Compatible Mouse – this is your mouse – Properties – Power Management And 
and set the option Allow this device to wake this computer the way you want it. You can also make similar settings for the keyboard. Keyboards HID keyboard device Right click Properties Power management Allow this device to wake the computer. Often users face the problem when the computer can't return from sleep. In many cases it happens because in the settings the boxes allowing the keyboard and the mouse to wake the computer are not checked. In this case, try waking the computer from sleep by quickly pressing the power button. If the computer refuses to go to sleep, go to Control Panel Power Options Change when the computer sleeps Change advanced power settings Find Sleep Allow wake timers and set it to Disable. As I said before, enabling this function allows waking the computer from sleep for other applications, antiviruses, network activity and even updates. If some application is active or running on schedule, it can prevent the computer from going to sleep. The other reason why the computer refuses to go to sleep can be the mouse or the keyboard. To see if the mouse or the keyboard cause this problem, disable the option to wake computer from sleep for one of them at a time. Then check if the PC can go to sleep. One of the devices may be active for some reason or still stay in touch with the computer. It can have a blocked button, some dirt inside it, low quality or worn out mouse mat, etc. And so the computer can't go to sleep. But make sure that you don't disable this option for both the mouse and the keyboard at the same time. Take turns to check each of them. If you don't do it this way, there may be problems with waking the computer. You can also use command prompt to see what application or process prevent the computer from going to sleep. In one of our previous videos, I have already shown you how to open command prompt, so you will find the link in the description. To do it, just start command prompt and enter the command. Power CFG space slash requests. You will see the processes that can keep the computer from sleeping, which you can end. That is all for now. It seems I have told you even more than necessary on this topic. However, if you have any other questions about Windows Sleep Mode, don't be shy to ask, and we will find a solution. If you like this video, hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel.